What is up, guys? It's 1942. We are currently in Germany looking for... There he is, Red Skull! On your left! Turn it off. Turn it off. Struck it with confidence. Needs to go. University of the Arkansas team from product. Greensboro, North Carolina. Alex Smalley. And he drips it in beautifully. So a couple pars and a bogey here at four. Marvel sucks, and you should stop watching their movies. Here's why. But first, let me tell you a story. When I was a kid, I don't know, in like 2011, I played Assassin's Creed 2 for the first time, and I fell in love. Like, it was Italian, which is part of my heritage. It was assassins and spies and parkour. All the things like an 11 year old boy needs, you know what I mean? I used to dress up as assassins, I had their hidden blades, anything you could think of. I would balance on my rooftop, scaring my mom's life, you know, cause I was about to do some sick jump into our grass pile. Never worked out well. All of this peaked when Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag was released. 100% greatest Assassin's Creed game. I mean, the mechanics were new, the story was powerful and engaging, and I felt, I felt like a pirate, I felt like a real pirate. I fell in love with sea shanties, and sailing and beaches and pirates in general. But that love, that excitement that I had for the Assassin's Creed franchise would not last. In 2015, after Assassin's Creed Black Flag was released, Assassin's Creed Rogue and Assassin's Creed Unity were both released at the same time. Now, these games weren't bad per se, but they, they definitely didn't live up to Assassin's Creed 4. I mean, I still spent like days of my life just in the halls of the Lou, or like, just the streets of Paris. What's funny about the Lou? Oh, I like the, you know, the museum? The Lou? Yeah, it's called the Lou. It's like <laughs> L-O-U-V-R-E. Is it in the game? It's French, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in the game. Anyway, the game was full of bugs. The story wasn't as good. I spent four years before I got the Sword of Sugar at the end of that game. and it just wasn't the same. And then they kept like overproducing Assassin's Creed games just way too fast, releasing games like probably twice as fast as they had released them before. So it really felt more like they were trying to get money out of people who loved the franchise than actually falling in love with creating the game and building the story and building the history behind the story. The same thing is happening with Marvel movies. And the fans recognized that this was just being mostly produced for money than actually good content. And the franchise started becoming less and less popular until eventually Assassin's Creed games got more hate on release than they did love, which is was totally new to me. It's because they were trying to serve money while also serving a good story, but they can't serve both. And they were too greedy and focused on the money. In a very, very similar way, Marvel movies have become that. Nothing but overproduced, underwritten stories to grab people's attention because people love the MCU series. And Marvel can't serve more than one master. They can't serve money, good story, and good CGI. These two start falling apart because they focus too much on greed. If we don't stop giving them money for making these crappy, garbage, stinky, poopy movies, they're gonna keep making them and we're gonna keep giving them money. So all I'm saying is stop, just don't go to Marvel movies when they're in theaters. Don't buy Disney Plus anymore. Listen, 
I'm, I'm not like a hater, or well, I am a hater, but I loved Marvel in the past. I mean, Captain America, Iron Man, these are great films. But they started producing garbage, yet you guys, you guys, still eat it up like fresh oatmeal on a Saturday morning before cartoons. The Marvel that we know and love is long gone. And it honestly peaked at Infinity War, which is surprising because that was 2018 and humanity peaked in 2016. And why do I say they peaked at Infinity War and not Endgame? Because Endgame was the start of the downfall of Marvel. That is when everything started becoming contrived and overproduced, and they started losing touch with their fans. Very, very similarly to Assassin's Creed. They lost their love of the story, and they just got a love of the money that they get when a new release comes out. It's like Mr. Beast pumping out content every day, but you don't have to commit as much to Mr. Beast's videos than you do to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. When I watch Marvel nowadays, it feels like if I haven't seen She-Hulk throw it back or Thor sniff the toes of a rocky man, then I'm not gonna understand what's happening in the movie. There's way too much intertwininess and it feels more like a chore to watch the movies than it does an enjoyable activity. I'm not studying chess openings. And here comes Anish shoving his horse where it doesn't belong directly into Hikaru's mouth. I'm, I'm watching a movie. And not to mention, the CGI is not getting any better. With these extremely fast turnovers, VFX artists are pumping this crap out and they don't have the time to sit down and make it look good. Do I even have to mention Miss Marvel? It literally looks like it could be an episode of Wizards of Waverly Place. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to diss Wizards like that. Miss Marvel doesn't even compare. We've all seen this phenomenon happen before with superhero TV shows. We all know that The Arrow was only good for four seasons, The Flash was only good for one season, and Supergirl was literally never good. It should also be mentioned that the effects artists hate working for Marvel. There's a ton of reports that Marvel overworks them and underpays them. And Marvel has to reshoot a lot of their movie pretty often. All of this aims towards one thing, one idea, that maybe, just maybe, Marvel's on its way out the door. And you need to stop watching their content because it's garbage. But they can fix it. They can fix it, I promise you. And here's how. Make, make standalone, standalone movies. movies. Please, just make standalone movies. None of this multiversal, intertwining, whiny garbage. It's too much. I'll be honest, I love Shang-Pi. I thought it was great because while I'm watching it, it was a fun new movie and it didn't have the entire weight of the rest of the MCU on its shoulders. Until it did. At the very end, Wong comes in and he says, yada yada, now you're part of the big universe. And it was just annoying. It just killed the whole magic of the movie for me. And, and before all the comments get butt hurt and say, but Levi, you gotta read the comics. The comics are the same. You know, these stories don't match up with it or whatever. Or uh, something like, oh, Thailand is Southeast Asia, not Southern Asia. I don't care, dude. I was making a point. I was making a point. I know Thailand is Southeast Asia. I know India is South Asia, you know, technically. But here's the idea. Are they both in the south of Asia? As opposed to being in the north of Asia? <laughs> yeah, they are. It's the same as saying Texas and Florida are in the south United States. They're two completely different cultures, but where are they? Geographically located. Are they located before the Mason-Dixon line? Or underneath it? Listen, I don't care about the comics. I've never read the comics. I will never read the comics. And I currently do not read the comics. Okay? That is just another chore to do. And then I don't want to be the person who's, who's pissed off at the movies that I want to enjoy because they don't align with the comics or they made a character black. No, dude. I just like watching movies. So if you're a consumer and you want my advice, listen to this. Stop watching Marvel movies. Quit paying them to make movies until they start doing a good job. And if you've never seen any Marvel movies before, just stop at Infinity War. If you're gonna watch through, go through, stop at Infinity War. You don't need to watch anything else. None of it matters. It's all annoying. It's all too much. And there's way too many women in all of them. <gasps> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. National Women's Day was yesterday. But every day is National Women's Day for me. And if you're Marvel, Bob Iger, the Russo Sist brothers, please just focus on making good movies. We don't need a movie every year. 
We don't need overproduced garbage. We just want to see stuff that's good. It was like two years between Civil War and Infinity War. And we loved them both, you know? So you just don't do too much, Marvel. Okay, um, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. Don't smash any of your family members. Comment on this video. And please, for the love of the Lord, give me money. That's it. See ya.